So some pretty insane shit happened today. What do you think, Lubers? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Quick backstory. I work with SeatGeek. Pat McAfee also works with SeatGeek. My amazing friends at SeatGeek, you know who you are, were talking to Pat McAfee and they brought up the idea of having me on the show and Pat McAfee was all for it. And I got to be on the show today. Dude, it was so much fun. It was it was sick. I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous as hell, dude. I was sitting here like, Meh. but you know what? It worked out great, I had a blast. I'll just let you guys watch it. I know this isn't your regularly scheduled content, but this was such a big day for me. I'm feeling so fucking good right now. Also, if you wanna watch the original, I'll link in the description i think you'll be able to see the live chat reactions from that video on his channel so you'll probably want to see that for some part enjoy this clip you guys are gonna you guys are gonna enjoy this youtube legend a man who was a kicker in high school michigan state grad shout out to michigan state yes, sir go green go white go, go white. white ladies <laughs> and gentlemen at papa meigs mmg yeah! what, up, yeah! papa! what up dog thank you very much how are you doing man I'm doing really well. How are you guys doing? Good. I'm excited to talk to you, and I'm very thankful and excited that you're a part of this FanDuel rollout, man. I've seen your fans go ape shit in the comments section. It's been awesome to see. They're absolutely... Am I allowed to curse? Yeah, no. yeah. Let it eat. They're fucking nuts. Yeah. I've, I've been watching it as it's getting rolled up to this point, and yeah, I, I apologize, but it's going to be fun. So. Don't apologize. That's what it's all about. That's why <laughs> YouTube is so awesome. A kid from East Lansing High School, basically, up there in uh, a high school kicker, has grinded, made videos. Now he's built up an entire community, and now FanDuel is like, hey, man, I think you're a stud. <laughs> I think you got some power. We want to market with you, and I'm excited to be alongside you in this uh, Sports is Back campaign with the Spread the Love campaign, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. We have to talk about your fucking video about the kicking shanks thing, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to. We have to, Matt. We Should I call you Meigs, MMG? Matt, what should I call you? Me Meigs is perfect. Yeah, so everyone calls me. Okay, Meigs. I love the name. I love Papa Thank Meigs, you. too. I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> hey, that video. Hey. Uh, you took some shots at some of my friends in that video. <laughs> and I won't say that your balls weren't good. You're hitting good balls. You're hitting good balls. And I like that you're, you know, putting on for kicking. But you said some disparaging shit about some of my guys, Meeks. You said Wh some Which one you got? What specifically? What was the worst one? Oh, Boswell, you went after Boz. That guy's had enough fucking problems in there for a missed kick. You know what I mean? I mean, it was just... <laughs> you, you, And then Zane Gonzalez, that guy's life is terrible. And you were burying him in there. I mean, there it's was some... True. You know what I mean? It's true. Yeah. Well, that's the thing about kicking. Literally every single person you ever talk to thinks that they can kick a field goal like that. Like, even if they absolutely couldn't, they believe they could drill that field goal. And you, by the way, were a good kicker. Better kicker than I, I thought I was going to see. To be honest. I'd I, like to hear that. No. Oh, yeah. my God. Wait. Was it you who did the... um? The world record blindfold field goal, the yeah. 40 yard. Yeah. And I have a video where I put it on the 40.5 and hit it smart. blindfolded. So I didn't have a Guinness World Record books, like, you know, official guy out there. Hold on. But I did, I did hit it and it was 40.5 and I marked it out. So Meeks. I don't know if they switched it. But. Meeks, that's an adjudicator. Okay. You need to have the adjudicator. <laughs> and, and that's the name of the guy from the Guinness World Records. Did he come out for yours? Yeah. The NFL set it up. The NFL set it uh, up. So it was like a Super Bowl week, you know, marketing thing. The night before, I had a great time, you know, great time. I <laughs> rolled in there, had no idea what was happening. <laughs> I put that thing on, though. First try, I hit it. I don't think I could have hit it again if I didn't hit it on the first try, to be 100% honest. And as I was accepting the award for being mm. the longest blindfolded field goal, I said, thank you. That's awesome. Some kid on the Internet's going to beat this as soon as this goes out. Turns out <laughs> that some kid was popping me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure multiple people broke it. Oh, I would yes. just like to get an adjudicator, be in the Guinness World Record books for like five seconds. That'd be good. Yeah, well, they fly out. I think you could do it, especially with your clout. I think you could definitely make it happen. Over a million subscribers. Ooh. You're a monster. How long have you been doing this? Hey, thank you. It's It's been five years now. I did it every single year at MSU. So senior year of high school, all four years at MSU. This is my first year not in college for it, actually, so I'm really excited for that. Congratulations. You're going full-time into this, obviously. Why were you even wasting time, especially at a terrible school <laughs> whoa, like Michigan? Whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Brutal. Wait, oh, my goodness. I didn't mean I that. hear enough of this. Hey, we have, hear... a, we have a Michigan State kid here who is diehard Evan Fox. Migs. I'm from Williamson, hey, man, just down the road from here. Yeah, he loves it. You don't, you don't have any Wolverines in the building, do you? No, no, no. No, no. no yeah. we, uh, Dr. Larry Nasser isn't here either. Which is no, no. Oh, thank God. That's dude. a real good thing. Yeah. I'm glad he's not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. What did yeah, you go to school was, uh... for? What would you go to school for? It was uh, marketing, which I guess makes a lot of sense now. Yeah, but so, those, those, you know more than those fuckers talking out of the books. So. I'm not, I don't think I'm ever going to do shit with that degree. Yeah. But 
It was a lot of fun. It was a good four years. Uh, the football program was fun. Basketball was fun. So it was worth it. Are you uh, wifed up or are you just uh, uh, married <laughs> to the game? Oh, boy, the chat's going to really fucking love that one. Oh, I shouldn't have asked that. <laughs> you should not have asked Let's that. move on. Let's move Fuck! on. No, I don't want to look at this chat. No, oh, I'll God. move on. I'm not looking at it, dude. I'll move I'm on. I'm not looking at it. Hey, I'm not. <laughs> hey, Meigs, I'm not in the YouTube world, right? We do a daily yeah. YouTube show, and obviously Ian from SeatGeek is one of our guys. He's He's been a man who has taught me a lot, not only about the internet, but how to really, like, you know, if you want to really make money in this digital marketing world, like, this is what you got to do, this is what you got to do. And for a long time, he's like, hey, man, we got to introduce you to these YouTubers. These kids are grinders. These kids create videos. They edit the videos themselves. They come up with these ideas. They build this community. He was like, we need to introduce you to these guys. So the fact that you've built up your community enough to care that if I ask that question, they are losing their fucking mind in there right now yeah i think are. that's a sign of accomplishment you probably should be pretty pumped up about hey it. i appreciate that so much that that means a lot coming from you so i really appreciate to hear that do you have any beef you have beef with people too i bet youtube i i i can cock the beef i'm definitely the pot stirrer, but uh well, well yeah well. you buried a bunch of nfl kickers in a fucking video <laughs> that I, want. I mean it seems like you are quite a pot stirrer. but Dude, that i had i had beef with I don't know if you'd really call it beef, but I had beef with Tyree Kill, like, oh, here we as go. a joke, like, for a Madden game, right? But what was so fucked up is he beat me, right? So, like, he's literally prime athletic form, okay. one of the best wide receivers in the NFL, and he also beat me at Madden, which I've been playing for, like, five years, so. Yeah, he offered It would be you. the equivalent of him going out there and, like, punting with more hang time and further than you, and then it's like shit what do i have going for me at all right well now? i i punted longer than five <laughs> years on a fake game <laughs> i i, I, True. I he, he would probably by the way that guy is an absolute freak but you're yes. you're a madden guy you you love the madden yeah. game you're a big madden guy from what i've been told i i am terrible at the game but the ratings i used to be rated so goddamn bad i used to be rated <laughs> so bad when i got a good rating it was a big deal to me is that how you know who's good and who isn't good no, that's trash, dude. They gave Mike. I think Michael Thomas is a ninety-nine. He has no. He has no business being higher than Julio Jones. And I'm starting some shit right now. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> I know for a fact. It's because Michael Thomas is gonna go on Twitter and start like talking shit to somebody at EA if he doesn't get a highest overall. I'm pretty sure he's a ninety-nine and Julio's a ninety-seven. It was something like that, and I was. Julio's a freak. He should be the best wide receiver in that game every time. All the players voted Julio as the number one wide receiver because the guy is just an absolute animal. I mean, he's faster, taller, bigger, and has great hands. He can run every yeah. single route. But Michael Thomas, also very good. He's just younger and has more to prove. Uh, not more to prove. He's already proved a lot. But Aaron Rodgers was an 89. So you have a little bit of clout with the Madden folks, more so than anybody. Are you going to ever talk to them about how bad their fucking rating system is? <laughs> Bro, dude, EA, Electronic Arts, hates me so much that... <laughs> I can't, I can't get a word through to them. It was five years ago. I used to, they have like a, a program where you can be sponsored through electronic arts. I was in that program, but I, I I'm kind of so flagrant and aggressive and kind of a huge asshole that they didn't want to work with me anymore. And they have me, they have me blocked on everything, bro. <laughs> like an ex-girlfriend. I am the biggest man creator. I'm blocked on Twitter. I'm blocked on Instagram. I'm blocked on everything. And then Electronic Arts had a Twitch live stream where they were showing off all the new features for Madden 21. And same as the chat like this, everyone's just going absolute ape shit. They're like, unblock MMG, unblock MMG. The moderators in the Twitch chat for Electronic Arts banned the word MMG. They banned the word Papa Meeks. They banned uh, the word me. Everything. Just They just completely wiped it from existence. So and when I asked just, you earlier if so you had a beef, you said with Tyree Kill. It turns out literally what your business is, you have a beef with the business. <laughs> is what it sounds like. <laughs> Apparently, dude. Apparently. How will we bury the hatchet? Is it too far gone? They hate you forever? I think it's too far gone, but I will say I was much more positive this year. The game was good, and <laughs> I, I'm still the biggest guy, so if they want to do something, I'd absolutely do it. Hey, what was that? I, I'm willing to forgive. What was that entire hashtag about make Madden careers better? What, what was that all about? Is that because... Is that like make a fixed franchise? Was that the one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it trending. I don't know Madden that well, but I saw it trending. Right. So anytime something trends, I'm like, oh, something's popping off over here, and it's like fixed Madden <laughs> franchise. Was that from you, or were you a part of that movement? 
Uh, I was a part of it, but that totally was not for me. That's from the Madden franchise community. Franchise is like where you take over a team and you like do all the stuff with that. You know, like you could be the owner of the Detroit Lions or something and take them to a Super Bowl. That would never really happen. No. Migs, that would yeah, never happen. I know. Migs. Yeah, tell me about it. I've been a Lions fan for forever. But oh, you know. oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. This is Foxy. Fo literally. Oh, is that him too? Yeah. Migs, I was going to ask you because you're a Lansing guy. You went to Michigan State. If you were not a Lions fan, it was going to tell me a lot about you. So I'm very happy that you Oh, are. absolutely. That I hard. I've been a Lions fan forever. It's not fun. Do you play with them maybe. in the game? Uh, no, no, they stink. Dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'll admit it. I love them, but no, I can't do that. See, I think that's why you are the way you are, by the way. You've lived this miserable existence. You, you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, being a Lions fan, yeah. you don't deserve it. Die hard loyal fan base. True. Die hard loyal fan base. Heart gets broken all the time. What was it? You guys were in the lead, I think, eight of uh, eight of your ten losses last yeah. year. You guys had the lead at some point. So it's just heartbreak city after heartbreak city. But you know what? This year's your year. Bingo. This uh, year's your I year. Don't know about that. <laughs> Come I don't, on. I don't want. I don't want an audio clip of me saying this year's our year. Just so it get thrown back in my face for like three straight months every time we lose. So. Oh, see, that's like that's like veteran internet of you because I, I'm. I, I will ride that wave. <laughs> yeah. I will ride that. You're going to have some clips. Oh. Nine months or not 10 oh. months, now you'll have some clips thrown at you. Oh, sure. it happens on a very regular basis. I mean, I said Jacoby Brissett was going to win the MVP. <laughs> you did not. I, like, you were joking, though, right? Thanks. 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 Do you guys drink on the show? <laughs> I smoke Were you a couple beers deep. No, I smoke ra a lot of vitamins though. And to be oh, honest, okay. when I get deeper in there, I had even more confidence he was going <laughs> to win the fucking MVP. I mean, it was a whole different world. But I ride the wave. I'm happy to hear you don't. Let's talk about your relationship with FanDuel. We have a big night tonight with the Spread to Love campaign, Meeks. We need to get this thing up there now. If you don't, I don't know if you know the history of Spread to Love. So whenever I signed with FanDuel last year, we did a Spread to Love campaign, and I pitched this to them in like a. It was like a boardroom. Okay, there was like a puck, motherfucker sitting at a desk and stuff like that. And there's a thing. And I'm, they're like, all right, let's hear some ideas and see if we can do them or whatever. I'm like, can we do team betting? And they're like, how? I'm like, oh, we get a lot of people to bet. Maybe like uh, the spread will get bigger and then we're off and running. They're like, uh, not sure we can do that, but we'll get back to you. So then they get back to me like two months later. They're like, hey, you know that thing? We're going to do it. Every 250 people that bet will move the spread up a point or whatever. It got to plus 59 for the Colts. And then we did it for the IU-Purdue game. Got to plus 100 and something, okay? So this time, for the NBA coming back, they're like, listen, we're going to do it again, but now it's plus 2,500 people as opposed to plus 250. It started at minus four. It's already at plus 14. This is a big night. We can lock this shit up if we want to, Meeks. It's at plus 14 for the Lakers right now? Yeah, mm -hmm. started at minus four. We need to keep getting people to bet that's that. So, that's so electric. So every 2,500 people who bet on the Lakers, it moves the spread in the favor one point for the Lakers. Bingo. So as of right now, the Lakers could literally lose by 14 and you would still win the bet. Well, it'd be a push. Correct? They can lose by 13, uh, though, and we'd win. 13, they would win because right, right, it right. is at plus 15 now. Whoa, Migs, you know something yeah. that I don't. <laughs> they would know that. Migs, so this, Migs, Migs knows. Migs knows. Papa Migs knows. We need exactly. To, we need that thing to keep going, though. We get that to plus 20. We oh, get five ooh. more points on there. That is a lock. Everybody wins. That's team gambling. That's Papa Migs making magic happen. <laughs> I can't believe they signed off on team betting, but that is electric. That's so exciting. Bro, FanDuel gave away $80 million last week to their um, to everybody that was a, a, a member, a subscriber or whatever, or a better. And then the next day they gave a $100 free loss to people, which accounted for another $10 million. Now they're doing this, which will be up over $2 million. I feel like they're trying to lose all their money, but it's cool for us. They just keep telling us to keep it's it a bold, It's a bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> Uh, hey, let's see we'll if it see pays, pays off. off for him. He's ballless, Cotton. He's ballless. He's got no balls. Migs, what's next for you? Um, I'm actually headed to California. I've been in Michigan my whole life, but uh, I just signed a place in California, so I'm going to do nine months out there just because I think it'd be so much fun. I'm so sick of the winter here, so we'll see how that goes. And after that, I have no idea. Yeah, I think it'd be good to get out of depressing Michigan. Now, granted, mm -hmm. I think California, everybody's trying to get out of there because it's locked down. So you choosing to go there is obviously an aggressive strategy, but it, it feels interesting timing. It, But that's not your fault. It has been yeah. nice to kind of watch the YouTubers kind of, you know, they get how you guys are going to get houses out there, right? Content houses. And then you guys all, all of the big brains of YouTube start getting around each other. And then the content just goes next level. I assume that's what you're thinking about doing for Madden or for everything else. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's nobody here in Michigan with me, so it's been like a it's been a solo show here for a while. But there's a lot of people out in LA. 
How much shit are you going to start out? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm so excited, dude. I'm so excited. Meeks, Meeks, we need you not to, you know, just go out there and just get into it with every human on the internet. We need <laughs> I'll that. tone it down a little bit. I'll be nice to some people. Meeks, I like the look. Good hair, good glasses. Oh, I like this guy a lot. This is <laughs> Thank you. I, I wish you would have been a kicker in college or in the pros. It would have been nice for you to rep for us out there. I wish I would I know. I wish I didn't fucking suck either, dude. <laughs> you don't <laughs> suck, though. You don't. Like, that's, I, I think, you, now, granted, in that video where you're bashing NFL guys a little bit, which, you know, I watched it originally, and I was like, guys, hits a good ball. Good. There was a little bit of a T in there, but you were There's hitting. There's one, it's T. I know, I know, I know. Which kickers know, you know, kickers see that and they're like, whatever, but you're hitting good balls. I wish you would have continued to take the next step. Maybe kick in Michigan State. I mean, that would have been yeah. nice. Oh. Big 10 kicker. I've had a good time. Yeah. Hey, and, and our guy, our guy shanked a big one. I'm trying to remember who was against, but you're a I remember kicker. everyone you, was tagging me. You should have feelings for these guys, you know? like I know, that's what I said. Everyone tags me and they're like, oh, Papa Meeks would have made it. I'm like, I'm going to be honest, guys, this is way harder than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> so much harder than it looks. But uh, I still would have hit it. Hey, so it's being a, how it looks. Yeah, you would have made it for sure. It's very hard being a professional YouTuber as well, especially growing up a uh, community like you have. So congratulations <laughs> on that. Can't wait to see what you do next. Let's pump the shit out of that FanDuel Spread the Love campaign. Let's all make Let's our go. money. And uh, safe travels. Can't wait to talk to you again, brother. Hey, appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me on. It's a blast. Hey, no problem. Tell your wifey we said hello, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Papa Meeks, Matt Emmer. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Have a good one, brother. Peace.